You are the fox. Chances are you're never going to forget where you were when that special someone popped the big question and asked for your hand in marriage. Actress Holly Robinson will remember being on the set of her popular TV series, Hanging with Mr. Cooper. Now take a look at this. Oh, oh all right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Rodney Pete, Holly's boyfriend. <laughs> You know, they say, uh, <clears throat> they say a good woman is hard to find. And when you find one, you got to hold on to her. <laughs> You're the best thing that's ever happened to me in my life. I love you with all my heart. Thank heaven, right? No, that wasn't the show. That was real. Getting engaged is so romantic. Well, on today's show, we have a lot of very romantic surprise proposals. In addition to some very creative proposals that we have taken part in and caught on videotape. Now, if you are a fool for love, and who isn't, you won't want to miss this very romantic show. So let's get started. My first guest thinks that she is here today for what we told her was a special thank you show. That's what we said, thank you show. Our clever producers told her that someone wants to surprise her and thank her for being so special. Now, she has no idea that this someone is really her boyfriend, Derek. What makes this extremely interesting is that Kathy thinks Derek has gone away for a few days to a Grateful Dead concert. <laughs> I am as grateful and as dead as he is going to see. So we're going to bring her out. Now you have to be very quiet. You can't let out the secret. She thinks this is the big thank you show. And if anybody has any questions about, about thanking people, then as we've done with this last gentleman, anyone has any questions about thanking people, we will be very happy. Welcome back. We're surprising guests today with people who want to thank them. This is our big thank you show. Um, please meet Kathy. Kathy, do you have any idea who wants to surprise you with a thank you? I have no idea. None? <laughs> I don't know. I'm a teacher, so it may be a student or a friend. Or a friend. Uh, it, could, it would be possible that it would be a, a, a former student, do you think? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm completely baffled. <laughs> Are you? Well, that's what happens. We, we try to play it cool on our thank you shows. I know you're curious to find out who wants to thank you. Uh, so will this person come on out? <laughs> Kathy, oh who is this? <laughs> Kathy, who is this? This is my boyfriend. My goodness, did we do something? Did we tell you a little white lie? Yes. Yes, we did. The t today's show isn't about thank yous. Derek, tell her what today's show's about, because no one's told her. Kathy. Ever since the day you dumped me in the emergency room, <laughs> out of the wheelchair, <laughs> I have fallen in love with you. And you said you wanted a creative proposal, and I couldn't think of anything better. <laughs> Kathy. Ah, I love this part. <laughs> Will you marry me? Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear a little of the background. Where did you think he was? 
I, I don't know. I'm in shock right now. <laughs> Are you? Did you think he went somewhere this weekend? He was supposed to go away with a friend of ours. He, he... Who's right over there. Oh, my gosh! <laughs> Supposed to go away with a friend? You're supposed to go away with a friend to see a concert. So. Were you hurt that you weren't asked? Yes, I was, but now I now, now I you understand. I know why. Is all forgiven? <laughs> Very much so. Who's extremely creative? <laughs> Wait, you've got Do to it. put the Do ring it. on. Congratulations, you two. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Now, meet Tom. This is Tom. He was not just window dressing, which is what you thought. Tom and his girlfriend, Anne, have been dating for one and a half years, and he is here today to also pop the question. Let me fill you in a little secret. Anne thinks she's here today because her boyfriend won an award from AT&T. We have set up the most elaborate scheme. We told her that all the winners would get to see a taping of our show before the awards luncheon. My producers told her I was the one speaking at a fake luncheon. They even had an agenda typed up. We stole AT&T stationery <laughs> and sent it out. Right now, she's waiting in the green room with other people whom she thinks are other AT&T winners. They are not. We hired actors. These actors are sitting in the green room and saying, what territory are you in? And uh, how long you been with the company? And they're getting tired, I'm sure. Tom, were you surprised that Anne believed the award story? I was, without a doubt, I was, uh, I was totally surprised because it's, it's one of the the hardest things to do is to pull something over on... But when we had the stationery, we had actors, we made calls saying we were from AT&T. I mean, you know, they'll get us sooner or later. But... <laughs> so you think, all right, before we bring her out, how did you two meet? Um, we, we actually, we met in a rather unique way. Um, we're born a day, we're actually hours apart um, from each other, we're the same age. And um, we work for companies that are on the same uh, street, so to say. And a bunch of my friends were taking me out for a few drinks to celebrate my birthday. And, uh, and was also taken out to the same place by a bunch of her friends to celebrate their her birthday. birthday. Yeah. So they put the two birthday parties together, and so it goes. All right, you say she's impossible. She's impossible to get one over on. She just asks, she asks too many questions. She does. Yes. She's very nosy. <laughs> you sure you want to marry this lady? <laughs> I hope so. All right. Now, will you play along? Right? AT&T Awards. Yes. Okay. There are going to... Let's bring out our AT&T winners. She, uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, where's Anne? Who's looking? Oh, you're looking for an extra seat. Will you take this seat, please? Yeah, yes. The winners for AT&T yeah. can go over here, over here, over here. Wait a minute, you need one more extra seat. All right, take yeah. that seat. Just take Anne, that one. That'll be all right. Just, Just head up there and we'll put you on that seat. That'll be okay. Okay. Tom, why don't you explain to Anne uh, why she's sitting in that seat? <laughs> oh, <Anne>. oh my God! <laughs> I'm wired for sound here, so. Uh, um, when I first uh, met you about a year and a half ago, um, I used to go uh, home at night and dream about the perfect woman. Uh, she would be beautiful and she would be kind and. Uh, she'd be, you know, thoughtful and uh, intelligent, and I found all of that uh, in you. And what I wanted to take you to New York, instead of taking you to an awards dinner, which I totally lied about, I <laughs> took you here because I want to ask you. <laughs> I want to ask you to marry me. Will you marry me, Anne? Yes. <laughs> Uh, uh, Anne? Huh? 
Hi. <laughs> Were you really surprised? Um, I'm, we sat there for a while in the back room. I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> Who are you sitting oh with? <laughs> who, who are you sitting with? Uh, are there AT and T winners? <laughs> yeah. They weren't. They were actors. <laughs> yeah. I you said it. you'd be impossible. <laughs> You're easy. Uh, You're easy. Uh, now, there's a woman named Sarah who's working as a summer youth camp counselor. She is here today to talk about, on our show, camp safety. She doesn't have any idea her boyfriend is here to ask her to marry him. We had to spring her from camp. I'll tell you the details when we return. <laughs> death do us part i love you with every beat of my heart i swear please marry me terry i love you <laughs> okay welcome back surprise wedding proposals it's the topic of today's show you're going to see a lot of very creative engagements in addition to a very special wedding we're going to marry two people they met and got engaged on this very show so we have a lot of spring fever and love, certainly in the air. I want you to meet Jeff. Jeff wrote me a letter a few weeks ago with a very special request. Jeff, do you have a portion of that letter? We have the whole thing, but he's got a piece of it. Dear Sally, the reason I am writing is that I want to ask Sarah to marry me. In the past, I've dated girls that don't make me think and grow as a person. Sarah does just that. She has shown me so many things that I love in a woman. We go jogging, dancing, and we both love children. In fact, we are both double majors in elementary, elementary education and early childhood. We both want to start our own daycare. I couldn't think of a better partner in business or in life. Every day that I think about her, the, har it, the harder it is to keep from saying, will you marry me? At times I rehearse what and how I'm going to ask her. I sometimes dream that I'm asking her. Please, Sally, help me surprise her and make mine and her dream come true. I love her so much. Thanks for your time. Sincerely, Jeff Gilchrist. idea why every time a guy gets cold feet he writes to me and, <laughs> and lets me do his work for him but this is not the first time you've done something crazy for love no I've been pretty notorious in, in this relationship with doing crazy things I did a cardboard uh, big cutout of a kind of a green alien type thing with his arms spread and it says Jeff misses Sarah this much and I hauled it from Cedar Rapids to Des Moines Iowa and sat on the back of my car with this chest high sign while people went by saying I had comments from or from uh, I hope it works to I'm sorry like I was in trouble or something <laughs> <laughs> so it uh, it ranged from comments and looks and glances and things like that so. now you haven't seen her in a few weeks no I haven't seen her since May. she is thousands of miles away for the summer mm -hmm. where is she for the summer she's in Seattle Washington at a camp uh, for high school, junior high age kids. So she's that far away. Yeah. Uh, with your help, our crazy producers called Sarah and told her we're doing a show on camp safety. Summer camp safety. Got to be about as boring a topic <laughs> as, as uh, I've heard of. So she's in our green room. Now, she's in there with some members of our staff who are pretending to be camp counselors. They've been sitting there all morning talking about their camp, which they made up. So, 
Jeff, you go backstage and hide. We are going to bring her out. And remember the topic today, <laughs> summer camp safety, OK? All right, let's go. We will add uh, questions about if you can't afford to go to camp, how you could get scholarships to different camps. We'll be discussing that. And you, did somebody over there say they wanted to put their hands up and they were going to ask a question? How many camp? Yes, OK. So then we know that you have a reason for. Yeah, then you have to get involved. And as these people tell their horrible stories, uh, you'll know what it's like. Um, we're doing a show today on camp safety. How do you know if the camp is safe for your child? Joining us now is Sarah. Sarah, by the way, is a counselor at uh, Miracle Ranch, mm -hmm. Miracle Ranch Camp in Seattle. Let me ask you first, how did you get into being a counselor? Well, I'm an elementary education major, and um, I heard about Miracle Ranch because I had two uncles and an aunt that used to work there. So they talked to me over Christmas, and they were like, you should really do this. This would be good. You'd be wonderful at it. And at first, I was like, no way. That's way too far away. I cannot go there. Where do you live? You live in thousands? I live in Iowa. Oh, so this is thousands of miles away. Yeah. Wow, don't you get lonely? Yeah, I miss my family. I miss my boyfriend, but. Yeah, I would understand yeah. that. Uh, so if your boyfriend is living so very far away, will he be able to come out and visit you and things like that? I only have like 24 hours a week off, so it's not like. He can only do it for a day. Is he particularly interested in safety? I'm sorry, but that's what we're talking about today. Is he? Yeah. <laughs> Camp safety. Well, <laughs> I don't know. Why don't we ask him if he's interested in camp safety? Uh, your boyfriend is in what, what state? Iowa. Iowa. Yeah. Uh, guess who traveled all the way to see you? Jeff, come on out from Iowa. <laughs> to compliment and appreciate you. I promise to honor your thoughts and feelings. I promise to tell you my truth in a loving way. I promise to treat you as an equal. I promise to accept your uniqueness. I promise to value the ways we compliment each other. I promise to spend quality time with you. I promise to express my deep love in many ways. I promise to seek excitement, fun, and the magic of life with you. I promise to love myself unconditionally, you and myself unconditionally. <laughs> I promise to cherish my heart, you with all my heart. <laughs> Marry me. <laughs> I'd have been out on 57th Street playing in the traffic. Oh yes. Now, the very good news is your parents know, okay? Yeah, yeah I, I made sure that. He called your parents. No. He called your parents. Yes, I called, I called your mom. Your mom does know. Your dad is on a fishing trip, so I had to find the resort. But I did leave a message with a guy, and it beat every fishing story in Minnesota at that resort. Oh, no, my it's right God. Here. It's right I here. know. <laughs> well, so, uh, uh, everybody knows. first of all, did, we, did you really believe we were talking camp safety? Woo! Yeah. <laughs> well, I think it's cute that you dressed like that. <laughs> Now, don't you realize the people in camp knew we had to spring you from camp? Did they really? They really knew about this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How would I get you out of camp? Yeah, he, they knew about it. They were all in on it. And Before I left. Before you left, they all knew about it. I just talked to my mom last night. I know, so did I. <laughs> I have been in very good contact with your mom. I called you last night how many times and you weren't there? No, and it was with us. I'm here. I'm here. I'm right here. Why doesn't she yell at him? Because he wasn't there. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. 
question, what were they talking about in the green room? Camp safety? Yeah, they were like, two girls found out they were, they went to the same camp, but they were young. <laughs> All of those girls are my television producers. They've never <laughs> been anywhere! <laughs> never anywhere! <laughs> no. <laughs> we don't send them to camp, they work! <laughs> Well, I love you. <laughs> okay, you calm down for a moment. Uh, one of the most romantic places to get engaged is the top of the Empire State Building in New York City. That, by the way, was the backdrop theme for several movie classics. One of them was An Affair to Remember, and one of them was Sleepless in Seattle. Well, when Sean was looking for our help to propose to his girlfriend, Rochelle, we thought it would be romantic to set up a surprise engagement at the top of the Empire State Building. Now, this was our sneaky plan. We have a young man named Bob Kaplan, who is one of our field producers. He pretends to be with a local TV station. He pretended to be interviewing tourists and finding out what their views of New York City were like. So you understand he's ours, and he's pretending to do this. Take a look at what happened. Hi, this is Robert Kaplan reporting for WSJR-TV here in New York at the top of the Empire State Building Observatory deck. We're waiting for Sean Rochelle to show up. Now, when they get here, Sean's got a big surprise planned for her, and we're going to share it with you back home. So let's take a look and see what happens. We're looking for people that have been just coming to the city and looking for their views and opinions on what they think about the city. I see you're a little cold. Tell me, uh, is this your first time to New York City? Yes, sir. How about you? Do you like it here so far? Oh, it's great. Yeah, the view and everything, it's awesome. It's like, I don't know, it reminds me of that movie. Yet, um, I don't know. How to Sleepless in Seattle, right? There you go. It's pretty romantic up here. I mean, I've been up here all day looking at happy couples. You guys are, you guys a couple, looks like, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> been, to, been together three years. Yeah, what, what's your anniversary? Uh, since we started dating, June 13th. So it's a special day for you being up here? Yeah, it's it's real nice. It's um actually, there's something I was going to ask her. Um, you know, we've been together for, um, I don't know, for a long time. And and I just uh, want to let you know how I feel, you know. I really want to spend spend the rest of my life with you. And uh, hold on, I have something I want to, hold on, hold on. Uh, will you marry me? Yeah. <laughs> Said a yes? Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah. <laughs> there you go. We've got a little surprise for you. Maybe Sean wants to take the mic and let you know what's going on. We'll be on national TV on the Sally Jesse Raphael show. <laughs> All her friends are gonna know. <laughs> Sean and Rochelle seem to be uh, off to a really good start. We're all very happy for him, and we'll throw it back to you in the studio. <laughs> Rochelle, did our Rob do a good job? <laughs> yes, definitely. Did he have you fooled? Yeah, I thought we won a trip to New York. <laughs> you thought you won a trip to New York? Yes. <laughs> Were you laughing or crying when he was asking you? I, I just had a stunned smile, I think. I you was were in shock. <laughs> Did you have any idea that he was, Sean was up to all of this? No, I had no idea. None. <laughs> Don't touch that dial, coming up next. This woman thinks she's here because someone has a secret crush on her. She doesn't know who that someone is. It's her boyfriend. Uh, we have no idea what she's gonna say to his proposal. You'll find out if you stay tuned. Today we are secretly getting engaged to our favorite mates. Please meet Xavier. 
Xavier and his girlfriend, Jovan, have been dating for about two and a half years, mm -hmm. right? Xavier, you have an interesting story. Tell me how you met. Well, Sally, I'm a manager of a grocery store, and Jovan came in, did her shopping there. Pretty much, we hit it off instantly. I asked her out, and we went on from there. And something happened, right? Well, I was sure to help. She volunteered to help out in the cash register. She was working for me. Uh, I was robbed, arm hold up. I was shot twice. Uh, she was there. She witnessed everything. Uh, she was there. She went to the hospital with me. She stayed in the hospital with me. She came back, and she pretty much nursed me back to health the whole time. And I owe a lot to her. You do. Xavier, why does she believe she's here today? Well, Sally, she thinks uh, there's somebody out there that has a crush on her. Oh, one of our crush shows. Yes, sir. Where she thinks that we have somebody who's got a crush on her. Who does she think the person is? She has no idea. No idea. What do you think her reaction is going to be? She will probably pass out. If I know her. <laughs> Are you ready to hear Xavier's proposal? We're going to bring Jovan out, and she's going to be blindfolded because she believes that she's here to meet the secret crush, okay? Nobody says word one, right? Okay, let's bring her out. And that was just a fabulous secret crush. And uh, they were extremely, weren't they, surprised by who the uh, <laughs> secret crush is? <laughs> this is Jovan. Javon, you're blindfolded, so you can't see your secret crush. Do you have any idea who it is? No. None? You don't know who's sitting next to you? Javon, before no you idea. lift the blindfold, is it possible that you could have a romance with somebody on today's show? No, because I'm involved with someone else. Mm -hmm. Oh, you didn't do that to me. No. <laughs> no, all right. I, that's very bad. You've waited long enough. Javon, take off your mask and see the secret crush. <laughs> See what? I want to give you something. This is for the uh, times we've been together for the last oh, few years. This is for our future. Will you marry me? Javon? Yes. Hello? It worked! I didn't forget your birthday. She didn't pass out. He said you'd pass out. Didn't I don't pass believe out. Let me ask you, are you thinking of getting engaged, or do you think your wedding proposal was the most mm -hmm. creative. Coming up next, some of the most creative wedding proposals. We have captured them on videotape. Stay tuned. Are you thinking of proposing? Well, you may want to listen to some very creative ways on how to pop the big question as we go along in the show. By the way, any questions so far for uh, anybody else that has been up there? Any? No? Yes? Question? Hi, Sally. I have a question. Yeah. But it's not directed at any of the audience or the uh, people on the stage. I'd like to ask a question to my girlfriend. That's all right with you. Sure. <laughs> Laverne? What do you want? <laughs> what do you want? 
Okay, this coming 4th of July, it'll be three years since I met you, and I've loved you since the first night. And it's a foregone conclusion. We will be married, but the question is when. You know, we've had a lot of delays, financial and otherwise. But Laverne, will you marry me this August? Yes. <laughs> Congratulations. Are you surprised? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Meet Joe and Beth. They met three years ago working at the same company. They recently got engaged in a very unique manner. Beth, was this typical of Joe? Absolutely What not. did he do? Joe's a very shy guy, and at work we try to, you know, it's sort of a low-key relationship. And all of a sudden, the Friday before Memorial Day weekend, he came in with balloons and roses, a singing telegram, my girlfriend from another company with the champagne, and it was great. It was great. How he surprised did you, me. How did you get the idea to do that? Well, I wanted it to be different, and I really wanted to surprise her. So uh, I was thinking about it, and I... Tried Chase Stadium and Times Square, and I got shut out of everything. And, and I thought about, since we met at work, that it would be appropriate to do it at work. So uh, I thought of an idea of the limousine picking us up from work, and I, looking in the phone book for a sign to be made, I came up across a uh, singing telegram. So I called him. That's when we met Dolly, and he came with the heart. When Brett fell in love with Stacy, he was looking for an interesting way to propose. Brett, I understand you thought of a few proposals before you came up with the ultimate, right? Right. Well, pretty much I wanted to... Uh... Originally, I was thinking about, again, Shea Stadium or Madison Square Garden or something big. I love guys. They, they think so small. You know? <laughs> I think of a romantic dinner for two. They got Shea Stadium. <laughs> okay, tell us how you finally decided to propose to Stacy. I finally decided that everything that I just discussed would pretty much just be for me. And I, this was something that I wanted to be special for Stacy, you know, very special for Stacy. And Stacy's favorite thing is the movies. So I said, how could I get myself to propose in the movies? So I had myself filmed on, a, on tape in a studio. And then I had to transfer the 35 millimeter film. And I worked out with the theater to show it during the trailers, during the previews. It was like a little movie of myself proposing. So you took her, Stacy. he took you to the movies that night? Yes, he took me to the movies that night. What did you see? We, we didn't see the movie, but... <laughs> All right. No, we were going to see Benny and June. It was the opening night. And the previews are my favorite part because I get to see what's coming out. And um, Brett knows I would never want to miss the previews. And there were four previews that day. Brett said that they did that to make him sweat. But <laughs> they, um, there were four previews. And then after the fourth preview, uh, the screen went black. And it said, quiet, please. And then Brett appeared on the screen. <laughs> Let's take a look at your proposal. Okay. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. May I take a moment of your time? for a very special presentation. There is a woman out there in the audience tonight, a woman that I love more than anything in the entire world. Stacy, darling, please make me the happiest man on the face of the earth and marry me. That. I think that's very creative. Now meet Carrie and Kevin. He was looking for the most creative way to propose to Carrie. Kevin, where did you come up with this idea? I was at a place called Rye Playland, and every Wednesday night we go to see the fireworks there. And uh, one night we were uh, watching the fireworks, and there was a sign that came up that said New York Post. So I said, if they can do it there, so I can do it with mine there too. And I got in touch with Bay Fireworks, and they made me a nice big sign saying, Carrie, will you marry me, Kevin? In fireworks. In fireworks. Wow. Let's take a look at the video you brought. Kevin, you can tell us what's going on, if you will. This when the fireworks are going off. You're just now sitting down next to him. That's kind of nice there. Yeah. Grandmother is getting ready to have her big birthday. There it is. <laughs> and here comes a sign. Here comes a sign. So all the people like start yelling, and I'm looking, and like, what are they yelling about? So. Carrie, will you? Marry. Very smoky that night. Kevin. 
Will you marry me, Kevin? Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> thank goodness somebody caught that. <laughs> Stay with us. Coming up next, they met on The Sally Show. We have a, a couple that met on The Sally Show, got engaged on The Sally Show, and right now they're going to get married on The Sally Show. Our wedding of the year. You don't want to miss this. Stay with us. Lori had a crush on John. Now, she had not seen him in close to 20 years. And she came to our, one of those United shows, she came to be reunited with him. Take a look at this. We have blindfolded you, so you won't be able to know just yet who your secret crush is. Do you have any idea who it might be? The clues that I was given had to do with working out at the gym. <laughs> and, uh... Working out at the gym. Uh, you want to find out? Yes. Go ahead, take your off your blindfold. Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay, you got the setup. This time, the surprise was on Lori when John returned secretly to propose to her. Take a look at this. Last time the surprise was on me, uh, today the surprise is going to be on Lori. <laughs> It's been my, my deepest desire to be able to share the rest of my life with you as your husband. Will you marry me? Yes. Well, it is only fitting that they come full circle and get married on the show. So without further ado, let's get to it. Jonathan Westendorf and Laurie Hoffman, are you prepared? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're all gathered here today uh, uh, to witness the, uh, well, the unification in the bonds of matrimony, uh, Jonathan Westendorf and Laurie Jo Hoffman. Now, John, do you take Laurie to be your lawful wedded wife? Do you promise to love her, comfort her, and honor her, forsaking all others as a true and faithful husband? I do. Lori, do you take John to be your lawful wedded husband? Do you <coughs> promise to cherish and care for him, love him and honor him, forsaking all others as a true and faithful wife? I do. I, John, would you repeat, repeat after me? I, John. I, John. Take thee, Lori. Take thee, Lori. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. Richer or for poorer. Richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Lori, would you repeat after me? I, Lori. I, Lori. Take thee, John. Take thee, John. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this for day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Now, John, do you have the ring? All right, you may place it on the left. Okay. With this ring, you may repeat after me. With this ring. With this ring, I thee wed. I thee wed. And with all my love, and with all my love, and with all my worldly goods, and with all my worldly goods, I thee endow. I thee endow. And do you have a ring for me? Yes. And repeat after me. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. And with all my love, and with all my love, and with all my worldly goods, and with I, all my worldly goods, I thee endow. I thee endow. Now, therefore, as both of you have consented to enter into wedlock freely and voluntarily, and have acknowledged it before me and, the, and those who are present here today, 
by virtue of the authority vested in me by the state of New York, as a former Supreme Court Justice of the state of New York, I pronounce that you're husband and wife, and wife and husband. You may kiss. <laughs> We'll be right back. All right, what I'm doing now, we're being politically correct, so we're giving away bird seed. Uh, we're, <laughs> we're all going to go right out now, and we are going to see them get into their limousine and throw the rice, no, bird seed at them. So come along with me. Come on, all of you. Let's go. Fuck.